We're on the GW Martin stand at Southern Manufacturing. We are regular visitors to you guys, always finding out what's going on. But today, a couple of things I want to cover off. A, components, and B, investment and automation. So I think investment and automation first. Yes, exactly. We've invested quite heavily in automation recently. I think over the last 18 months, we've spent about £2 million on equipment. Uh, some of it's already installed and working. Some of it's on its way, across, coming across the water. But we've looked at uh, growing the business uh, and we felt it was very difficult to grow the business by adding more people because the, the skilled staff are just simply not available anymore. So we've turned to automation and so this has forced us down the automation route and it's starting to pay dividends for us. When you say automation, some people might think robot arms, but it's not just, I mean, it's no. not robot arms in this instance? No, I mean, I think it's for, when you get forced into looking at automation, you realise there's lots of different ways to automate. It's not just a question of a robot in front of a machine. We've gone, uh, we bought uh, four machines now with robot, uh, with what we call a gantry arm. Right. And, and basically it turns a, a, a standard turning uh, mill turn center into a, a billet loaded machine as well as a bar loaded machine. So I instead of having a 65 mil bar machine, you've now got a 65 mil bar machine plus an automated billet machine that goes up to 220 millimeters. And, um, and it's changed, you know, the dynamic of us. We're getting far more, far more productivity out of those machines now. Than, than we are out of the standard twin axis, twin type machines. So, I mean, rhetorical question, basically running 24 seven now where you couldn't before. Yeah, 24 seven, I mean, this, this part here is a good example. I mean, this part we, we produce, uh, it's a billet. So we were loading it by hand because we didn't have a, any way of loading it. So we, we make 18,000 a year of these. So, you know, it's not great for someone to stand there loading 18,000 of these by hand all year. So the robot arm picks it up from a, from a container, loads it into the spindle, machines the part, takes it, places it back down, picks another one up, yep. and off it goes. And so we're getting incredible productivity out of, this, out of this part now, far, far better than we have before. And for obvious reasons, you know, it's now completely automated. Okay, and this part itself, I mean, complex part because it's thin walls, aluminium? Aluminium, yeah, I mean, we make this part in two minutes, which is pretty quick, you know. And, uh, and we make it two minutes, every two minutes, it comes off. Yeah. And when everyone's having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, it's still making them every two minutes. You know. And tolerances, surface finish, all, all holding yeah. those oh, things? Yeah, no, very good. Yeah. This is done on the CMZ. Yeah. Uh, this one, it was the first machine we put in with automation. Right. Um, and um, we've just bought another one that's yeah. coming in the end of this month. But we've also got, uh, we bought a Mazak with a, the same robot gantry loader, twin spindle. And we just bought another Mazak with a twin spindle. So I'm looking at another component here, a bit of gold going on there. What's, what's, what's happening with this? Yeah, this is a client, we, we've been doing this show here now for four years. And the first year we came, we thought we'd give it a go. And we, a client turned up and said, we make uh, special lighting. Yep. So we thought, well, well, let's have a look. And this particular part we did from, uh, for the Middle East. So this is a part of a lighting fixture. Uh, but this is 24 karat gold. Nice. Uh, I'll take a few samples if I don't mind. Exactly. <laughs> it's plated. It's yeah. it's not for, obviously it's not solid gold. It's plated on brass because brass is a lot easier to use for gold plating. Yeah. Um, and there's about 20 of those uh, out in out in the Middle East, uh, looking very very posh and expensive. Absolutely. I might have a couple for my new house. Yes. And next next part though, this is. A bit more, well, not more complicated, but talk us through this and what machines it done on? Yeah, this is done on an uh, Index uh, C200. We've got a, a triple turret machine. So this is the, the only machine we've got three turrets, two spindles. So with a, a type of part like this, you need to have a balanced component to be able to get the use out, out of three turrets. So there's enough work on both ends of this part for three turrets to be fully deployed. And at that point, you really get the benefit of having three turrets on a machine. And, we, and it obviously gets the cycle time extremely competitive. Richard, that's a great insight. Well, we know about G a lot about GW Martin, but moving forward, automation, some fantastic components. Thank you very much.